this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation so let's get started problem solve e power y plus 1 into cos x dx plus e power y sin x into dy equals to 0 solution given differential equation e power y plus 1 into cos x dx plus e power y into sin x dy equals to 0. Consider it as equation 1. Which is of m dx plus n n dy equals to 0. Which is of m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. So, by comparing these two equations, we will get where m equals to e power y plus 1 into cos x and n equals to e power y sin x. Okay. If dou m, that is partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we will say that the equation 1 is an exact equation. Okay. So, firstly, we will find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and partial derivative of n with respect to x. Partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to dou y dou y of m e power y plus 1 into cos x and partial derivative of m with respect to x dou by dou x of e power y sin x. So, here we are doing with respect to y, right? So, we will consider x as constant. So, here cos x is constant, right? So, let us write the constant separately. Cos x into dou by dou y of e power y plus 1 equals to cos x into derivative of e power y with respect to y. That is dou by dou y of e power y plus dou by dou y of 1 is equals to cos x into derivative of e power y with respect to y is e power y and derivative of constant is 0. So, this is equals to e power y into cos x. Okay. Now, we will find for n with respect to x. Is equals to here we have to do partial differentiation with respect to x treating y as constant. So e power y will be constant into partial derivative of sin x with respect to x. This is equals to e power y into cos x. Okay. So here dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x. Therefore, dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x. Since dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x, so we can say that the equation 1, therefore 1 is an exact equation. Okay. Now, the general solution of 1 is given by integral over x, m dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to 0. Okay. 
So first we will find integral over m, sorry, integral over x into m dx is equals to integrating m with respect to x treating y as constant. Okay, so this is equal to integral of m. You are having m e power y plus 1 into cos x dx. So here we have to treat y as constant, right? So e power y will be our constant. Okay, so you can write this as e power y cos x plus cos x into dx is equals to integral e power y cos x dx plus integral cos x dx. Since e power y is constant, we'll write this outside the integral. Then this becomes e power y into integral cos x dx plus integral cos x dx. Since we know that Integral cos theta d theta equals to sine theta and you get e power y into sine x plus sine x. To take sine x common from the two terms you get sine x times e power y plus 1. Okay. So integral over x m into dx is sine x into e power y plus 1. Now we find the second one. Integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to not 0 c okay the solution the general solution of 1 is given by integral over x m dx plus terms of n free from x into dy equals to c okay is equals to so we have to find the terms of n which is free from x so this is our n right we don't have any term which is free from x. So we'll take 0 equals to 0. Okay. So therefore the general solution of 1 is plus 2 equals to c, right? You are having the result of 1, that is sine, you can consider it as 2 and we have integral of terms of n free from x into dy is equals to 0, right? Consider it as some 3. Then 2 plus 3 equals to C. So the solution is sine x into e power y plus 1 plus 0 equals to C. Then you can also write this as e power y plus 1 into sine x equals to C, which is a required general solution. Okay. So, we have seen a problem from exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.